Brun from uh, Norway refereed the bronze medal playoff in the European Championships last year. The fans are ready as the rest of the officials are introduced here. Teams who know each other well, but they have uh, brought such fun, such noise, such colour to this event. And the boxing arena is now ready for the medal playoffs. So now it's time for the national anthems. Poland first. So now the national anthem of Romania. The huge Romanian flag unfurled immediately to my right by the fans. Thomas Rude looking over to them. You can't really miss them. They are noisy as well as highly visible, so the teams wheel round and will shake hands. Two teams have had to put the disappointment of defeat in the semi-final behind them and now focus on the fact that there is still one medal, but only one for one of these teams. Poland do not want to be in that position again, having lost two years ago in the bronze medal playoff. Here is the lineup then for Poland. Much will depend on playmaker Kudwacz, but Stasak and Asuk will need a good game here today. Look at also for Kobylinska right back and the left winger Kutsila. Very economical. So the charismatic coach Kim Rasmussen, the Dane, hoping that it will be second time lucky for them. Deep in thought, hoping he's got the tactics right here today. As the team prepares, and they're starting seven. Move on court for Romania. Well, of course, the big danger is Niagu as ever, but Bradianu and Bocheski are working well with her, and Elise and Nikita will start on the wing and have been hugely efficient, as has the line player Manea. So, Thomas Rude. Not long in charge of the Romanian team, trying to be disciplined, but more than anything else... Well, the huge Romanian flag unfurled immediately to my right by the fans. Thomas Rude looking over to them. You can't really miss them. They are noisy as well as highly visible, so the teams wheel round and will shake hands. Two teams have had to put the disappointment of defeat in the semi-final behind them and now focus on the fact that there is still one medal but only one for one of these teams Poland do not want to be in that position again having lost two years ago in the bronze medal playoff here is the lineup then for Poland much will depend on playmaker Kudwacz but Stasak and Asuk will need a good game here today look at also for Kubilinska right back and the left winger Kutsila very economical so the charismatic coach Kim Rasmussen the Dane hoping that it will be second time lucky for them.
Deep in thought, hoping he's got the tactics right here today. As the team prepares, and they're starting seven. Move on court for Romania. Well, of course, the big danger is Niagu as ever, but Bradianu and Bocheski are working well with her, and Elise and Nikita will start on the wing and have been hugely efficient, as has the line player Manea. So, Thomas Rude, not long in charge of the Romanian team, trying to be disciplined, but more than anything else, self belief that even if you go behind, it doesn't matter the Scandinavian way, you can always win if you put your mind to it and work hard. Could watch 48 goals, a 64% success rate in the competition. She's the third top scorer, plays for Lipsk in Germany. And they will hope that uh, she can be on form, as will the Romanians with Cristina Niago with 53 goals, a 60% success rate. The competition's top scorer, who plays for Buduznost in Montenegro, the Champions League winners. But she has had a few off days, and Poland will be desperately hoping that today is one of them. Final gather round then for the Polish team. who lost the last encounter between these teams at the European Championships last year, but we'll recall that they did beat Romania two years ago at the World Championships, having come from some way behind. We're just about ready to get the bronze medal playoff going. Let us know us that this is the hard angle. Here we go then, Romania today in the red tops and blue shorts throw off the bronze medal playoff at the 2015 Women's Handball World Championships. Playing from right to left, Poland today in the white shirts and red shorts. Start off with the usual 6-0 defence. And they will be hoping to try and control as much as they can Niagu without taking their eye off Buczewski and Bradianu playing at the right back position. Well, Niagu is straight into business as usual as she steams around. And a good block by Mania on the end of the line, and uh, it left Stachowska frozen out. So the usual changes for Poland, Stachowska. So the usual changes for Poland, Stachowska and in uh, defence only, being substituted out. Kobylinska and Kulvinska. Coming into the attack. Very closed angle for the shot. And slightly disrupted there. And, uh, Kotzela coming uh, away with nothing, but luckily at the other end, Gavlik manages to catch the uh, ball, which came off a defender and would have gone out for a uh, throw in to the Romanians. But Kulvinska scores the first for Poland. Under the outstretched leg of Ungorianu. Romania, who uh, beat Serbia in their qualification uh, playoff. 56 54 in aggregate over the two legs. It's going to be a free throw again for Romania. Just to have a quick word. Some holding going on on Mania, the line player. Polish fans cheering on. Poland, for their part, uh, comfortably beat the Ukraine in their European qualification match for these World Championships, 54-40 on aggregate over the two legs. Into the wing, Nikita, that's far too close to an angle for her to do very much about it. Stolen, the break is on, and she can go all the way through now. Oh, saved by Ungoriano! Aslo comes away empty-handed, and the Bayamare keeper, one of ten players in the Romanian team who play for Bayamare, runners up behind Bucharest in the championship, and uh, Aslo will be disappointed with that, a clear chance. Good save, but it's a penalty. The foul on Eliza Buczewski. 22-year-old got through very quickly as they pushed up in defence, but they left the door open behind. So while uh, Elise hands the ball to Niagu, who changed the keeper, Wysokinska comes in for Poland. She saved five from 18 in the competition. But Niagu makes absolutely no mistake with that, plants it down in the bottom. 
went the right way, but uh, straight under the leg. Niagu starts well. So the third top scorer in the uh, Champions League with 37 goals this season for Buduchnost in Montenegro. Three and a half minutes play then, Romania leading 2-1. Poland absolutely determined to walk away with the medal this time. Elise bundles Zalewska over the back line. Has a quick talking to from uh, Kirsty Anton. Ashrug. Very close angle, unwise shot to take. And Ungurianu makes a second save. So far, so good for Thomas Rude. Uczeski picks it up inside. Thought she was just outside, but. Uh... Oh! Just not thinking. Zalewska has given the ball away, Nikita gets another chance and the mistake cruelly punished. It's a cheap goal and there it was, she wasn't paying attention as she tried to retrieve the ball from going over the line. And so a good start for the Romanians, 3-1 up, actually come up to the fifth minute, Nikita's first. She's uh, another one of the... Uh, Ten players from Bayamare in this team. Gives good stability on the one hand, but uh, there are some issues at Bayamare, and uh, the coach Thomas Luda said uh, sometimes these start to creep into the national team as well when you have so many from one club. Niagu. All the way through. The connection is working every time. And that's the defence specialist, Rina Such. He's got the broken nose since their match against Brazil, and so team timeout called by Poland, and uh, Rasmussen needs to gather them in. He's listening. Listen, girls, here. OK, now we have started. Two things. In the defence, we are not aggressive as we're supposed to. Kinka, you work backwards on the Argo. We go and work backwards on the Argo. We go nine metres, separate early, or go together a little on top. We are too flat, and that means we have to run after them. In the offense, we are trying all different kinds of small variants. In general, just going to the goal. So as ever in the team timeout, most of the talking done by the assistant coach Kostiko Bucheski for Romania. Several of the players don't speak English, so Thomas Lute gives his instructions early. Here's some of these lovely shots from the uh, game and indeed off the pitch as well. So play resumes, and no surprise that uh, Kim Rasmussen complains that his defence is too flat. Spoke to him yesterday and he said, well, we are hoping to allow Niagu a little bit of space, but to move her into a position where she's less successful with her shooting so that we can focus on the others and isolate her. Well, so far, Niagu finding a way through. Just a little bit more uh, movement now in the attack. It's going to be a yellow card now for Such, the defence specialist. Too much holding on uh, Kulvinska. There it is. 31 year old, another, the Bayamare Brigade with that nose done up at the back, you can see. Had to wear protection on it since breaking it in the match against Brazil. Ashok. Kobilinska looks for the line. Kulvinska's got the ball, but good defending. Such got in behind this time. Stopped her turning. They're saying two minutes. That's very optimistic. A Romanian sandwich, really. Well, we've got the penalty. And oh, wasted. Ungoriano. A fast break and a penalty. Wasted opportunities. And uh, could watch. So reliable. 
He scored six from eight, but not today. And that's uh, bolstered the confidence of Ungorianu Noen. Third save for her from four shots. They've had their chances, Poland. They're trying to defend deep now and isolate uh, the ball when it goes to the other side. Coming into Niagu, and we've got a yellow card. It's number four for Poland, Stachowska. The defence uh, specialist from Gdynia. Oh, she is on form today. Luda is happy. And Kim Rasmussen, who'd hoped to give her just enough room to shoot where she's not so strong. But it's uh, Niagara's day so far. An elbow flying there, says uh, Kirsti Hansen, the Norwegian referee. And Kudwatch and the team struggling a bit. And Kim Rasmussen frustrated and remonstrates with the referees. So they've changed the defence, having initially hoped to uh, play it reasonably flat. Still early days, but they're going to need something a bit special here. They've got to kickstart the machine at the moment. Poland just haven't got going at all. So for the moment, Niagu's gone in the middle. Bucheski. Niagu's got away. Oh, good save. Gavlik. First of the game for her from five shots. Ashruk looks for the line. Too closely marked, but Such was standing inside the area. And Kim Rasmussen still bellowing at his players. Just trying to uh, somehow shop them into uh, getting the engine started. Takes off uh, Ashruk. Who plays alongside the Niag, who knows her well, at Budučnost in Montenegro. It's a good angle for the shot. Zalewska, 31-year-old winger, who's the fifth top scorer in the French league when she plays VC Paris, the beneficiary of a lucky rebound. It all helps, and they needed that because they haven't scored for eight minutes. Scored four without reply during that time, the Romanians. Radeanu looking for the line, Manea can't get free. And it's a yellow card for Kudwatch. He uh, shrugs a shoulder, the referees have to say, what do you expect me to do? And looking at the replay again, well, they'll be able to defend somehow. And Bucheski, big smile from the 22-year-old, not so for Gavlik. And uh, Stahovska simply going up too late. Goalkeeper probably marginally too much to the left as well. Ten minutes played then in the bronze medal playoff here in Romania. Are leading Poland 6-2. Romania, who were uh, silver medalists at the World Championships in 2005 when they lost to Russia in the final. They then took... It's a good angle for the shot. Zalewska, 31-year-old winger, who's the fifth top scorer in the French league when she plays VC Paris, the beneficiary of a lucky rebound. It all helps, and they needed that because they haven't scored for eight minutes. Scored four without reply during that time, the Romanians. Radeanu looking for the line, Manea can't get free. And it's a yellow card for Kudwatch. He uh, shrugs a shoulder, the referees have to say, what do you expect me to do? And looking at the replay again, well, they'll be able to defend somehow. And Bucheski, big smile from the 22-year-old, not so for Gavlik. And uh, Stahovska simply going up too late. Goalkeeper probably marginally too much to the left as well. Ten minutes played then in the bronze medal playoff here in Romania. Are leading Poland 6-2.
Romania, who were silver medalists at the World Championships in 2005 when they lost to Russia in the final. They then took bronze at the European Championships in 2010. Finally a way through, well, it's Ivona Niedwiec that's traditionally been used in the first half by Poland as a defence specialist, but is a proven goal scorer, 78 kilometres an hour. OK, they're up and running now, Poland, but have they given Romania too much of a lead? More to the point, can they at least control Niadu? Because if they can't, that is to no avail anyway. Ashok moves up as they uh, cross on the right with the intention of getting the ball across the court to Niagu. She's trying to read it. Ashok, a club teammate at Budutsnost. Oh, Manea. It was a lovely pass into her. First goal of the game for her and Thomas Good almost smiling. Bucheski, the provider. And Elise just drew away. Good watch. Mania, who's missed just two shots the entire championship, a 91% success rate on her shooting. Seven for Romania, three for Poland. Free throw. A yellow card as well for Elise. The foul on uh, Pieles and uh, a huge one meter ninety left back. He plays for Fisch auf Göppingen in the uh, German Bundesliga, playing a first major competition for Poland, despite having uh, played with them on numerous occasions. That's more like it. Scored by Koblinska. Little hand off, lovely height. She's not hugely tall, 177, but uh, got up and then shot around Such. Well, they 3-3 uh, exchange now between these two teams, and they steadied things a bit. Uh, Poland into the wing. You just can't give the wingers that kind of space. The problem is the defenders are so focused on the back, it's difficult to manage all the dangers of the Romanian team. But uh, Elise goes through and opens up the angle superbly. And there's nothing much that uh, Visokinska can do in goal. She's just come in for Gavlik. Good save by Ungorianu. Or Pieles. Niagu. Penalty. Defending inside the area against Bucheski, Pieles gets the yellow card. 27-year-old. Charging into her. So, Gisakinska hoping to save one this time. Up against Aurelia Bradianu, three from three in the competition so far. Well, a jinxed her. She misses her first penalty of the World Championships. A let-off for Poland. Poor one as well. On the bench on the Polish side, though, delighted. Vysokinska plays for Ankara, Yeni Mahale in uh, Turkey. It's an attacking foul. Kobylinska. Kukudinia right back going straight in. Vysokinska. <laughs> Oh, they need a big game for her, the kind of game she played against Hungary when she made 17 saves. Saves off Nikita there. So two chances for the uh, Romanians to extend their lead. Go begging. Oh, off the post and luck won't even go their way either. Manea, but she slips. And they're just going to uh, stop play briefly. But she tweak her right ankle as well. There's the shot, and uh, Mania just skids on the uh, advertising strip. Slightly less adhesion on it. Hopefully she's OK on the uh, advertising strip. Slightly less adhesion on it. Hopefully she's OK. She looks as if she's wincing still. 
It's such a great world championship. Place for Bucharest, the champions. This is her fourth world championship, Manea. But until the uh, semi-final, she was on a 100% record with her shooting. Bucheski. Niagu. Penalty again. Lovely play. And Manea helping herself at the back. And Kim Rasmussen, probably Manea helping herself at the back. And Kim Rasmussen probably telling them they've done that three times already. They keep on coming around from that side and releasing the ball. And there's two of you out, and the two at the back are too wide. Niagu. Calmly taken. That's her fourth goal. Two of them penalties. Taken quickly. Past the midway point of the first half, then. And it's 9 4 to Romania. Is it going to be heartbreak again for the Polish team? Got through to the bronze medal playoff two years ago. The bronze medal playoff two years ago. Only to lose to Denmark. So that was a good block. Perianu, 21 year old defense specialist from Bayamare. Ah, oh, the ball's fumbled. Manea tries to get the ball forwards, but there's a foul on uh, Manea after she couldn't get the ball clear. Norwegian referees call it back. Also, uh, Kim Rasmussen's plan of uh, controlling uh, Niagu and uh, restricting her to areas where she's not as strong, but actually giving her that space in exchange for marking the other players as they're working, they're trying to individually mark her. But the Romanians have so much strength in depth at the offside and releasing the ball. And they're working, they're trying to individually mark her. But the Romanians have so much strength in depth that the options are everywhere. And once again, Mania gets service on the line and a second team timeout already called by Poland after just uh, less than 17 minutes. It's time for some double players where we can get here and get on the side. The Kuko is still good if we can put the pressure right. Hey, we go flat in defense now, enough is enough. Then they must go from six meters, from eight meters, nine meters for the rest of the game. Or we have to go on top of the line player every single time, okay? So, move around. Remember, close together, they will put a lot of pressure. They will put the Argo here in the middle. We will stay seven and a half, eight meters. Wait for them there so we get closer together. Hey, girls, it's not over. We heard Pure passion for the Romanian team, for the delight of their fans. The Polish supporters, quiet now, but they have been uh, very vocal all the time, even when they're behind. Goriano, four saves from eight. So play resumes. Ashwok in the centre, could watch us move left. Ashwok in the centre, could watch us move left. There's little doubt that they are missing the uh, long range firepower of Voitas. He's got a long term injury. She provides incredible uh, firepower at the left back position. Ashwok, there's no space on the wing, they have to bring it out again. Good defence by uh, Romania, so dynamic, so much strength, and smothered Perianu. So Romania come away with the ball, and the Perianu made that block. High fives all round. So Poland, as we heard in the team timeout, they've decided to go back to the 6-0 defence they started with and uh, try plan A again, which is give Niagu that space, but uh, make her go to where she's having less success across the court. Bucheski, well, they've changed, they've rotated it the other way. That came off the leg, but play on, says the referee. You still have the ball. Meanwhile, Romania brought on uh, Tanasia on the left wing. 20-year-old newcomer to the team.
in place of uh, Elise. Chance now. Well, sheer frustration that shot. Visokinska starts the move. Ashwood, the 26 year old, takes the frustration out on the back of the net. 88 kilometers an hour. 10 5, the scoreline. and end a three-goal run for Romania without reply. So Mania drops in in front of Niagu. Oh! Long-range effort. Geiger, who's come on and immediately makes her presence felt. Right in the top corner. Geiger who's uh, just back this season after 10 months off with uh, ruptured cruciate ligaments. Njedvjec now staying on in attack, Kudwac. Ashruk, and it's a yellow card for Berianu. Holding on to uh, Kulvinska, the line player. Brings her down. To the wing, not much space. Could watch Kulvinska. It's going to be a free throw, but this time a two minute suspension. She's only just got a yellow card, and Pirianu is off. 21 year old Bayamare defender. Holding on to exactly the same player she got the yellow card for, Kulvinska. And so a power play now for Poland after this incident. Really need to capitalize on this as uh, Perianu starts her two minutes uh, enforced rest. Penalty. Kudwatch driving through and she's left uh, Laura Kieper prostate on the ground. But there was a gap. It looks as if she's straight into her. Kulvinska put the block on. She threw herself into her. And the decision of the referees is that the space had been there. Ashok. Oh! Well, two penalty misses. Ungurianu, nowhere near it, went for the uh, top right hand corner. It's the right thing to do, though, because Ungurianu starts high on all the penalties and swings her arms down. And so, as we go past the 20 minute mark in the bronze medal playoff, Romania in control here. 11 5 despite being short-handed. That won't count. The whistle already going. Attacking foul by the Romanians. Too many steps, and it's all gone terribly wrong now for uh, Poland and frustration. Setting in for Kim Rasmussen. They were so desperate, the team. They were so determined, he said this morning. We are going to win this match. We will not go away empty-handed a second time, but uh, that was, of course, without counting on Romania. We've had uh, a run of three poor world championships. Tenth two years ago, 13th in uh, 2011. Eighth two years before that, and trying to come back again to the heyday. That's an attacking foul by Niagu. Ashok looks up. Breakthrough and could watch. Little sidestep and goes around uh, Bradianu. <laughs> Romania are now back to full strength again. And uh, in on the line in place of uh, Manea comes uh, Krina Pintea, 25 year, 25 year old who plays for German champions Thuringen. To the wing, there's no space for Nikita. Niagu is there, Bucheski to Niagu. Bradianu looks for options, watch the side pass to the line. She does that all the time. She cuts back towards the middle and then uh, releases the ball in with a side flick into the line. 
Bowls know it. It's just that in the heat of the moment, sometimes it's difficult to uh, resist the temptation to push up quickly. Passive play has been called against Romania. They need to do something quick off this free throw. And if there's anyone to do it, it's number eight. Oh, incredible. It's almost on tap. And Niagu. Uduznost, left back, superbly placed. With a little bit of space from three uh, players giving her a screen. Seven minutes remaining in the first half, and uh, Romania very much had the upper hand here. Well, that was uh, well done by Njedjec. Suddenly saw all her options disappear as Bradianu pushed forwards. Not the greatest of shots, Ungorianu. One of her easier saves, her fifth of the game. Such races off and uh, back on goes uh, Melinda Geiger, 28 year old right back. You may have thought after being off most of last season with a cruciate ligament uh, injury that she might not uh, get back into the national team quite as quickly as she did, but. Uh, She's done very well indeed. Player from Bayamare. Oof, that sails well over. Six minutes to go in the first half. Ashwood. So they're trying different things now. Njedjec goes off and uh, Zich comes in as uh, Kim Rasmussen speaks to Njedjec. And the veterans of the team, 182 internationals, 510 goals. Zich. Tries to go through on her own, she scores! Inspired substitution for Kim Rasmussen. Only scored two from eight in the competition so far. The Polish uh, 18. <laughs> scores straight off the bench. Not only that, but Pintia has picked herself a two-minute suspension. after only uh, two minutes and 44 minutes of play. So they're pushing up a bit more now. Niagu once more is individually marked while they have the extra player. Niagu gets free. They've got to watch that because she links up really well with Bradianu looking for the line. No one there and the ball goes across the area. It's picked up on the far side. Kotsela. Yedvjec. Oh! Awkward bounce and Ungurianu sees it go right through her legs. And yet Vietje was in that long conversation with Kim Rasmussen on the bench just now. Goes right up to Niagu. Just doesn't move up on her at all. They're actually outscoring the uh, Romanians 2 to 1 now since having been 4 10 down. Clawing their way back into the game slowly. They are determined to take a medal away this time, Poland. Romania, well, the epic quarter-final against Denmark when they won in extra time, 31-30. And then, of course, the exit against European champions Norway after extra time in the semi-final. Oh! Standing shot by Niagu. Six from eight for the Romanian left-back. Fans absolutely adore her. 80 kilometers an hour. Comes away empty handed. Wabuda. Relative newcomer to the team, a first major competition with Poland. It's all a bit daunting here. The hot atmosphere as well, and a change. It's still a Pintea with the suspension served out, returning in on the line. So Bradeanu in the centre. Geiger at right back. bucheski has gone off for the moment. Oh, two minute suspension. Ashut holding on Pintea. Niagu's teammate at Buruchnost gets sent off. Good result for Pintea. German baseline player.
Radiano, Niagu switches into the wing. And she beats Gavlik, who's just come on. So much focus on Niagu, but uh, try. So much focus on Niagu, but uh, try to cut the angle. But Elise gets a second goal. Beating Veronica Gavlik. So suddenly the lead is restored. Two quick goals by the uh, Romanians, and it's proving to be an expensive uh, two minute suspension as uh, Zich launches this one over the bar. Similar to her last appearance, actually, in the uh, semi final against Norway when uh, Kim Rasmussen tried to find solutions, put her on, she scored almost instantly, just as she did here, and then went back off the boil. She has only scored two from eight in the competition in used just 46 minutes, and still the discussions go on on the bench. Kim Rasmussen. Speaking to Wabuda, the right winger, the right winger, Niagu. Stoke is on, have they got enough players forwards? Oh, that was very high. And that's a two-minute suspension. And Zalewska, got a cut under her eye against the Netherlands, looking a bit battered there, she's brought down rather clumsily by Pintea. The uh, fans support the decision by the referees. So that's her second two-minute suspension of the game. She might be in for an early shower. We're inside the last two minutes before the half-time break. Zich, still 20 seconds before they're back to full strength. Penalty. Push on the way through, and it's another suspension. Yedvich is fouled. And there's the shove, but it's the one in the back that the referees didn't like. Perianu is off, and that's also her second one. So two of their defence specialists are now in danger of being out of action if they get another suspension. Change the keeper. In comes Yonika Monteanu. Comes Yonika Monteanu. She saved two from seven in the competition. Stahovska. Poland have missed two penalties. Oh, they've missed three. Unbelievable. Kim Rasmussen can't believe it. And Stahovska. Joins the list of Kudwatz and Ashruk, and well, that says it all, doesn't it? Doesn't matter who they put in goal, it seems that the uh, Poles are unable to score their penalties, and a team timeout called by Romania. Elise and her teammates very much in control here. And timeout called by Romania. Elise and her teammates very much in control here in Henning. Yes, 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 Five, we take five and six. Keep the ball, make the cross, and you're going to the bench. Play a lot, okay? Hey, listen, if we can get one or two goals here in the last, last minute, we try, okay? We try our best. Well, then set the bar too high, they've been struggling a bit here. But uh, the uh, one thing for them is that uh, at least Poland well, turn with uh, Agnieszka Kotzela. They do have a double suspension against them, but uh, the uh, goalkeeper's been taken out, and you can see in the middle that Wuczewski is wearing the goalkeeper's bib. Empty goal, though, down the far end if they lose possession. One minute to go. Niag will be closely marked, and Bucheski keeping an eye on her to see if she can screen her. She goes off. That came off the foot of uh, Kudwatch. She remonstrates with the uh, referee. It looked like a good call. Clock has been stopped. 39 seconds remaining. Just 
to make sure Romania don't try and run it down too much. So they will uh, finish the half short-handed and start the second half short-handed by two. Straight over the top, Gavlik's got to get the ball out quick. 30 seconds now for Poland to try and pull one back. Just close that gap ahead of the second half. Wabuda comes in. Is it? No, Alexandra Zik, I beg your pardon. Zalewska on the wing. 15 seconds. Oh! Do the simple things right. Kim Rasmussen must wonder what on earth has happened to the team today. Niagu, that's what they were trying to do at the other end. And instead, Romania, to the delight of Thomas Rude, who goes straight on to congratulate her. But Kim Rasmussen, absolutely livid. How do you come back from that? Gavlik looks shell shock at half time. Hit one, then 5 0 1, and then gone back to 6 0. So Poland throw off the second half, seven goals adrift. Has Kim Rasmussen found something to revive the fortunes of the Polish team for the second half? And uh, Romania started two players short. Oh, that sums it so much up. And Kim Rasmussen tries to look away. Kotsela who's got an 86% success rate with a shoot against Ungoriano, who tries to get the ball back. It's mine, she says. It's not a souvenir. <laughs> so they uh, have now played down the clock and got back to full strength. So they build up slowly. And Bucheski has started again in the middle with Bradeanu at right back. And then Niagu. Break is on. Ashok. Oof. Stopped in her tracks, but uh, it's a bit dangerous just for a moment there as Elise went up to her. Another free throw. They tried to take it quickly. So change on the line. And uh, into play comes uh, Hannah Sonde, plays for Kutsalin. Bigger line player than uh, Kulvinska. Oh, that'll get her going. Kudwacz, who's been absolutely epic at these World Championships for Poland. But today has barely been given a look at goal. Or two from two open play goals, the uh, Polish left back. Only miss she's had is from the seven metre line. Let her play there, she shouldn't have blocked her. Zero angle, looking for the line, that's worked. And Manea continues her run. A faultless three from three. So the swap, Stachowska goes off and on comes Sunday, only being used in attack. She drops in again, oh, and the ball fumbled, and absolutely nothing will go right for the Poles, it seems, at the moment. Or they're not to take anything away from Romania, they are playing a very good game and just pressuring the Poles. Niagu has been fearsome, but of course it's not just about her, Radeanu. Czeski, Geiger, holding well at the back. Oh, good save! Gavlik reacted well. Only a second save of the game, mind you, from 12. Might give a bit of a boost for the second half. Ashrug bounces it past Ngorianu. Thomas Rude disappointed. Plenty of resin, obviously. Little sidestep to get around and Goriano completely in the wrong place. Oh, brilliant play and a fantastic save. Gavlik, 29 year old goalkeeper for the champions, Lublin, inspired in the second half. 
So Kudwatch moves back to the left back position as the substitution is being made wholesale on both sides. Such comes back in in defence and immediately picks up Sunday on the line. Kudwatch at the bottom of the picture. He was so exhausted in uh, the match against uh, Norway that uh, she was down on the ground and uh, all but uh, passed out has been fearsome, but of course it's not just about her. Radeanu, Luceski, Geiger, all doing well at the back. Oh, good save! Gavlik reacted well. Only a second save of the game, mind you, from 12. Might give a bit of a boost for the second half. Ashwood bounces it past Ngorianu. Thomas Root disappointed. Plenty of resin, obviously. Little sidestep to get around and Goriano completely in the wrong place. Oh, brilliant play and a fantastic save. Gavlik, 29 year old goalkeeper for the champions, Lublin, inspired in the second half. So Kudwatch moves back to the left-back position as the substitution is being made wholesale on both sides. Such comes back in in defence and immediately picks up Sunday on the line. Kudwatch at the bottom of the picture. He was so exhausted in uh, the match against uh, Norway that uh, she was down on the ground and uh, all but uh, passed out with uh, sheer exhaustion. Well, he's happy, Kobylinska scores, and even the young fans. Oh, good save, Gavlik reacted well. Only a second save of the game, mind you, from 12. Might give a bit of a boost for the second half, Ashwood bounces it past Ngorianu. Thomas Root disappointed. Plenty of resin, obviously. Little sidestep to get around and Goriano completely in the wrong place. Oh, brilliant play and a fantastic save. Gavlik, 29 year old goalkeeper for the champions, Lublin, inspired in the second half. So Kudwatch moves back to the left-back position as the substitution is being made wholesale on both sides. Such comes back in in defence and immediately picks up Sunday on the line. Kudwatch at the bottom of the picture. He was so exhausted in uh, the match against uh, Norway that uh, she was down on the ground and uh, all but uh, passed out with uh, sheer exhaustion. Well, he's happy, Kobylinska scores, and even the young fans find something to smile about. Lovely height. Goriano struggling with that. So, uh, well, treatments received there. Kudwatch comes over for a chat with Kim Rasmussen. Five goals, the deficit, as Ashok is held back to her feet again. Ashok who plays for Guruchnos alongside Niagu. And uh, immediately has an opinion. She's also given absolutely everything. They're going to try 5-1 defence again. They tried in the first half without great success. Njedvjec is at the front. Luceski. Niagu is now on the other side. Tries to dispossess Elise. No success there. Niagu. Luceski straight to the wing. Nikita's got a huge angle to play with now. Gets her second. Bayamara right winger. Veteran of four world championships now. 
Six goal lead restored then. Five minutes played in the second half. Gobelinska, free throw. And the 20 year old playing a first major competition for Poland. Only five internationals to her name. Really has been quite a revelation for the Polish team. Ah, Ashwood. Goal number three. She's on song in the second half. Goriano, no answer for that. Still, they push deep. Niedwiecz at the front. And the Agu says to Elise, come out. I need your help. Elise goes in on the line. Radiano, save is made. It's gone out to the side, though. And Romania keep possession with Gavlik. Starting very brightly in the second half. It's a fourth save. Elise. Niagu under a lot of pressure. Oh, what a player she is. She's so tightly marked and yet still drives forward and still finds Elise, the winger, who's gone in on the line. She gets a third goal. Two players defending, but it left Kudwatch completely stranded in the back trying to come across. It wasn't her player to mark. Thomas Ruder, so far, so good. Looks to the line, Sunday. First goal for her. The seven-year-old playing her first major competition with Poland. Niagul, who has blown hot and cold. Some matches has been off song and been quite expensive with a shooting. Sadly for Poland, though, today isn't one of those days. And that's a penalty for Juana Manea, again causing problems at the back. Puts the block on, drops back in again. Lovely feedback by Niagul, but uh, the second defender, Stachowska, inside the area. And they are happy with that. Niagu steps up. And still... Number eight. Gabli tries to stay still as long as she can. The moment she lifts the right leg, though, it's almost simultaneous. So quickly read. Down next to the standing leg. Ashwood. Ashwood again into the line. Sunday. Play on, says the referee. Suj stays in the attack for now. Niagu into the line again. Manea can't quite turn, but that's a two minute suspension for holding. And off goes Kobylinska, 20 year old right back inside the area. Did well to hold Manea, but. Uh, in the end, the Norwegian referees send her off. So, a power play for Romania and the lead by six as well. Ball goes over, the break is on. And they score short handed Poland, pull another one back. The fans still believe. Desperately believe that somehow they can turn their fortunes around. That's the second goal for Zalewska. Nice pass by Kudwatch. Oh, good save. The follow up scored though. Geiger. Her second goal, and uh, Kim Rasmussen must wonder what on earth they need to do 
to get a bit of luck here. It was a good save by Gavlik, but before she could get up, Kotsela battling away. She'd have done better to dive in and just flick the ball away. But it appears on the slow motion replay that he was just off the ground as Geiger picked it. So with the extra player now, Ashford figures being individually marked, could watch as well. It's a 4-0-2 defence. Free throw, the foul on Yedjec. Ashwell comes in a little bit closer while Kudwatch is still individually marked. Tries to go on the far post. It was clear, actually, but she just missed it by uh, about 30 centimetres. And Kudwatch, two from four, and uh, Thomas Rood tells them uh, it's 20 minutes to go. Tim Rasmussen, he'll look up and go, well, 20 minutes, six goals. And we still don't have the run of play either. 15 seconds before they're back to full strength again, Poland. Geiger is now on for Bladianu. Niagu. Geiger! And the gap is there, that's her third goal. That's to the 12, she scored in the competition so far, and the gap getting bigger and bigger. After they've managed to close it back to 12-18, Poland are now 14-21 adrift. They are at least back to full strength again. Sunday returns on the line. We lost the bronze medal playoff two years ago to Denmark 30-26. Free throw. Foul on Kut to Denmark 30-26. Free throw. Foul on Kudwatch. Kudwatch has been restricted to just three shots in this game. Defending very, very well. 6-0, but with a lot of depth. And Perianu picks up the loose ball. Manea. And scores. Fourth goal for her. Quick break. Sent back to her. Her arm briefly taken by Ashwood. Penalty. Eight goals adrift. Kudwatch breaks through. And uh, Periano has taken a blow in the process. Clock's been stopped. Little push sideways. But ironically, as uh, Kudwatch went off balance, caught it with a foot. Prepared to uh, bring on uh, Monteano. Periano still struggling. Well, it's actually with the follow through from the uh, the hand. But she's uh, she'll come off, and then uh, someday we'll take the penalty. Ah, oh, four missed penalties, and not all saved, I'm afraid. A couple of them off the post. And Monteanu, absolutely delighted, plays alongside the other goalkeeper, Ungoriano with Bayamare. Smiles. And how on earth do you pick yourself up now for the Polish team? They've missed so many opportunities. It's somewhat caught in the headlights of the oncoming car, I'm afraid. Into the line. Mania defending inside the area. And a chance to move towards a 10-goal lead, and surely that will be curtains for Poland. Mania, such a threat at the back all the time. Two players not able to hold her up. So back on comes Wysokinska. Plays for Ankara, Yeni Mahal in Turkey. Previously, Betikheim in Germany. Niagu. And she scores again, very subtly taken penalty. Dropped her wrist back, took some of the pace off the ball, but there's uh, Visokinska committed. And so Gavlik goes back on. Number 8, 54% success rate for Niagu. And uh, Romania now way out in front, 23 14. Penalty, another push on uh, Kudwatch. And off goes Laura Kieper. 
I'd say Mane out. More at fault than uh, Kiper, who was more in the way. A nice smile from her, but uh, takes one for the team, I think, in this case. Ungoriano will stay on. He's going to have another go. Well, that's look, she missed one already. Finally, finally, at the fifth attempt. Straight through the legs of the keeper. Takes a lot of guts to step up and uh, take that shot. Little hand off. Short handed, remember, Romania. After Kiper got sent off in Woodlux. It looks like a case of mistaken identity, I suspect, but uh, that's a Polish ball. They've got to use this really, really well. Aswood comes off, but there seems to be some confusion about who's going on. Kobylinska steps on in the end. Niedjec in the centre. Now Kim Rasmussen speaks to uh, Aswood. Oh! And again off the post. Goalkeeper didn't touch it, and uh, I don't think that uh, can be translated, what Zalewska was saying there. Forty-five percent success rate on their shooting, uh, Poland. It's uh, stayed low. For Thomas Ruder, though, no such problem. Seventy percent success rate for the uh, Romanian team. Geiger. Stays in for a while. Bucheski gets a free throw. Well, Kim Rasmussen was telling me yesterday that uh, he keeps on trying to tell his players not to worry about consequences, play more freely, take the shots. Here today, the Romanians have defended extremely well and the shots have been few and far between. for a second before the suspension is served out. We're midway through the second half. And it doesn't get any better, I'm afraid, as Niagu is on the prowl again and scores goal number 10. 24th goal for Romania. Inside post at 81 kilometers an hour. Two defenders in front of her. What more can you do? She's on fire. Great scenes here. Crowd streaming in still. Good defending. Play on, says the referee. Could watch into the wing. There's not a lot of space there. Save by Ungorianu. And I think it might be a case of cramp for Agnieszka Kotzela. Ungorianu, though, she can celebrate. She's had a great world championship as well. Let's save number seven for her. 32% save rate. Just got an arm to it. So Geiger in the centre for Romania now comes Luciana Marin, used predominantly as a uh, defender. Tried to flick it behind her, didn't quite succeed. Still just under 14 minutes remaining, but it's a long, long way back. If it was a mountain to climb at half time, well, this I'm afraid is uh, looking almost impossible, and I think even uh, Pielesh is resigned to that as she looks on. Hands together, maybe looking for some other kind of intervention to help them. That took a touch off a defender on the way through, and it'll be a throw in for Poland. Kudwacz goes to get the ball and the substitutions are made. Kobylinska is back on again. And Kulvinska returns into the attack in place of Sonday. So Kudwacz, Ashok.
Oh, so much power, but sails over the bar, Monika Kobylinska. And uh, rather downbeat looking uh, Kim Rasmussen and some of the supporters. Still making lots of noise, but I think deep down they must know that uh, it looks as if uh, the bronze medal has got Romania's name written all over it. Geiger, they have controlled this very well. They've defended very well, which has been the real key. Well, if Niagu can do it, Buczewski says, so can I. And even Niagu's up to uh, applaud that effort. Straight through the legs of Gavlik. Ungorianu celebrates, as do the fans. And the uh, Poland try switching yet again their goalkeeper as uh, Wysokinska goes in. Kobylinska, I thought that came off the leg. Doesn't matter anyway because uh, Kudwatch has uh, picked up the loose ball and uh, they've just stopped play while uh, Niedviec and uh, Kim Rasmussen engrossed in discussion. I'm not sure there are too many solutions available to them here. They've conceded four goals without reply, got one back and then hit another two, Romania. 6-1 exchange and uh, when you're ten goals down, You've missed four penalties. It is hard to lift your heads up. Such, and she's going to be off. Grabbing the uh, Kobylinska, she comes around. Well, Pintea hasn't really been used since getting a second two-minute suspension. Perianu is still very much in the centre, but on this occasion, but on this occasion, Kudwatch finds a way through for her third goal. Very nicely taken under the leg of the keeper. Rasmussen. We have to come back in two years' time and uh, maybe make it third time lucky. But uh, all credit to them, though, Poland have performed superbly. An incredible match against Hungary in the last 16 to win it by one, and then uh, an even bigger game against Russia to beat them 21 20. Ungorianu saves. Kotzela, who's been one of the most reliable players in the. Uh, Polish team arrived here with an 86% success rate. 25 goals from 29 attempts. Neago even applauding Ungoriano. Le Kotsela, who's missed four shots in the entire championship, has missed all four of her shots here today. We enter the last 10 minutes. Brilliant play. That's how it's done. And uh, Anna Maria Tanasiu. 20-year-old playing her first competition for Romania. One of the new players. Ten-goal lead is restored. Kudwatch getting stuck in as ever. She has uh, played herself to exhaustion, as we said earlier. Kudwatch so much. Seems to depend on her ticking well, and uh, Kim Rasmussen knows it. She's been unable to break down this uh, very tough Romanian defence in Ungorianu, scoring three from six. And she's off. Makes way for Yonika Montianu to go back in again. Nine minutes to go. Oh! Luciana Marin used as a defence specialist for much of the competition, but now with a big scoreline, able to go out and let rip, and she does 93 kilometres an hour from nine metres out. 16, 27.
11 goal lead, the biggest yet. Oh, up the crossbar again off Sunday. Metal work has seen a lot of action as well in the Hungarian goal. Bench turned further now for Romania. Patricia Vizitiu comes on at right back. Thomas Rude determined to make sure that everyone gets in on the action. Has a good memory of this match. Something to build on. And the new management. Free throw. There's a shoe on the floor. There's a very good chance it belongs to Marin. Dispossessed. And, uh, well, Gagina standing all over her foot. So Bradianu in the centre. Niagu getting a nice long break, but even without her, the Romanians are just continuing relentlessly with their scoring. Viziti. And now uh, Pirianu gets in on the act. The player we thought was on borrowed time with those two two-minute suspensions in Visokinska, can't believe it. Two saves from 12 in the game so far for the Polish keeper. Team timeout for Kim Rasmussen, his last one. And uh, Ashruk Kobylinska make their way off. The Polish fans still uh, chanting, but it's well and truly slipped away. Listen, girls, listen, you're, you're fighting as good as you can, OK? But we have to see if we can take one more step up or one more step down. Because right now it's the middle of everything and no one knows am I going up or am I going down. And then they come to the sides of us all the time. So we need to stop. We need to step together and, and just get closer in the defense. Let's get down and let them shoot a little from the Two things. In the offense, build some best prime and these things where we get the ball moving, or Kuko, where we put some pressure. And keep the ball moving, go a little wider, okay? I do wonder, when you're 12 goals adrift, how much the players can really take in in these team timeouts. He's trying to reset them. He's certainly right that they're either not pushing up enough in defence or not sitting back on the line player. But uh, tactically, they just haven't been able to break down the uh, Romanian defence, despite the best efforts of Kudwac and her teammates. Three goals without reply. Seem to be short bursts of three and four goals without reply by Romania as they uh, increase the lead. Pulled one back again. And who else? It's Karolina Kudwac, 30 year old who plays for Lipsk in Germany. 60 goals this season for them. 48 coming into this match for Poland, but I'm afraid today. It was the uh, Niagu show early on, but even since she's been off, the Romanians continue. The ball's loose, and it's picked up by Vizitiu. So Marin. He moved off to the left back, she'll be happy about that. She's more comfortable. Cuts out the uh, back, but the pass wasn't great into the wing. Ah! Uh, well... The Romanian fans are delighted, but they just moved the ball around, and in the end, with a little bit of space, Vizitiu just uh, lets rip with a long-range effort. And Vysokinska flays at that one, and... Uh, change the goalkeeper again for Poland. It makes no difference whether it's Gavlik or Wysokinska. Neither one's really managed to get into the frame. Gavlik, 22% save rate. That's more like it, Kobelinska. Three goals and uh, Montianu. It's had annoyed with herself. Went the right way. Got there too late.
switched back again. No way through there. It'll be a free throw now. Romania keep possession. Five minutes to go in the bronze medal playoff. Into the line. Off the bar. A little bit of luck. There's not been much of it around for the Poles. Could watch. Looks for the wing, but instead the ball is cut out by Laura Kiper. Sadly, not uh, a big epic uh, competition here. Poland arrived on the back of a good win in a warm-up game against uh, Montenegro, 28-26. Romania, for their part, went to France. Where they lost 27-29 to France, but beat the Czech Republic and Cuba in their warm-up games. But for now, the Romanian fans are happy. They're about to add another medal to their trophy cabinet. Worth noting that uh, Stashak has not been used, but we knew she's had an injury problem. And uh, we're not sure how much she would be risked in the game. Sunday scores, a bit of a consolation. It was a lovely no-look pass by uh, Stashak. Penalty. Fouled in the act of shooting. Yedvietchen, it's a two minute suspension to go with it as well. And it's for Marin. Yeah, he got a hit in the mouth in the last match against Norway. Ashok scores her second penalty after missing the earlier one. Fourth goal in total for her. Closing the gap slightly, had me in Levin adrift. There's Marin who's serving that two minute suspension. So the goalkeeper's been taken out. Back on comes Bucheski. She barely has time to settle in before Vizitiu scores from the right back position again. Another long range effort to restore the 10 goal lead for Romania. Thomas Luda smiling to some of the uh, fans at the back and some of the uh, other technical support staff who are sitting right behind the team. Yedvjec blocked off the defence as well, that was Such. That's a very, very, very long pass. I think for uh, her to have reached that, she'd have had to break the 100-metre record. Asog having a good run in at the back end here. Five goals now for her, Kobylinska passes to her, straight down the middle, big gap. It's a sixth goal, I beg your pardon. So into the last two minutes, goalkeeper's off again, Czeski's on with the bib. And now the countdown is on for the celebrations to start, a lot of smiles on the Romanian bench. Ah! Well, showing that she's got the uh, magic factor too, and Kim Rasmussen. I think there is nothing more he can do. 83 kilometers an hour. This match slipped away a long, long time ago. Thomas Ruder, hard for Neago. Ten goals. She's been able to rest in the second part of this second half. Sunday passes the ball. In the end, it wasn't even so much uh, all from the other team's attacks. It was almost from their failings in uh, with their shooting. Less than 50% success rate throughout the competition. It's actually this best now at 46% for Poland. We have 50 seconds remaining on the bronze medal playoff. Perianu has gone back in at the left back position, looking for the line. No way through there to Pintea. The Turingen based line player. Straight down the middle, Gavlik makes a sixth save. Sunday, quick pass out. And Gadzina 
gets her first goal, not just of this match, but actually of the competition. She'd only played 45 minutes. One of the players put on to try and mix and change it by Kim Rasmussen, but I'm afraid it couldn't stem the tide. It's going to be 10 seconds to go with the free throw for Romania. One last shot. Off the bar, and that's it. There goes the buzzer, and Romania have taken the bronze medal. They have comprehensively beaten Poland 31-22. Ana, felicitări. Sigur, toată lumea se întreabă, vă gândeați vreo clipă că veți ajunge aici? Nu, când am plecat nu ne gândeam. Eu una nu sunt, să dau un pronostic dinainte, am spus că o să venim aici și să o dau.